My name is Lisa Mishler, and I'm a, a teacher at the drawing studio. I've been teaching, I think, for about 12 years. In my, in my artist history, I went from a watercolorist to an acrylic painter, to an oil painter, to a mixed media painter, to encaustic, and now cold wax. So if you're asking how can I, it's because I like to experiment. I'm adventuresome through my artwork. So I've learned that through my own experience, which has helped me when, I, when it comes to teaching my students. Um, I believe anyone can be an artist, because if I could become one, anyone could become one, starting so late in life at 48. But it takes passion. You, you need to be passionately in love with creating. My parents were Holocaust survivors. I'm the first child born in the United States. Um, I was asked by the rabbi to do a body of work that represented my expression of how I felt, what my parents felt like going through the war and their escape and fighting with their partisans. It took her seven years of nagging me to convince me that I could do this because honestly I wanted to keep myself separated and forget about that. But then one day she caught me off guard and I said, okay. <laughs> and in two years, I was committed to working on a body of work in my small studio, creating imagery of what I felt my parents had lived through. This painting was created for my Holocaust theme about my mom's and dad's story. This paint, this represents my mother, how she was dressed walking through uh, the winter in uh, white Russia to find my father by full moon for, for 30, for 90 days. 90 days she was this little woman, five foot one, by herself trying to find my father. She would sleep in the snow at night and if she thought it was a friendly neighbor, um, farmer, she would out, try to sleep in their barn. The story behind this painting is, at the end of the war, my father signed up with the Russians to fight even more during World War, the end of World War II. He felt like he, he needed to catch some of the Nazis that had hurt his family so bad. And so he signed up and my mom was sent to go someplace else so she wouldn't be in danger. She ended up in a DP camp. but. Then he deserted the Russian army, and at that time, the United States had an agreement with Russia that any people that uh, defected would be sent back to Russia, and of course court-martialed and killed. So my dad, when he left, went into hiding, but he decided he needed to find my mother. So in, they were in two trains, one train going one direction and a train going another in opposite direction, they like bypassed each other and my father caught a side profile of my mother as the train to stop and shortly after my mother's train stopped she got out and started walking away and my father started yelling Luba, Luba, that was her name and she turned around and there was my dad. 